Last year, the number of people who came to the council looking for help because they were either homeless or at risk of homelessness was up by over 50%. So clearly it's a huge issue. The Homelessness Reduction Act has added additional statutory duties around single homelessness and there tends to be underlying vulnerabilities with single homelessness that we don't generally get with family homelessness. The SHIPS service is located at the Civic Centre. It's really driven that partnership work in between the local authority and the voluntary sector. Being based at the local authority enables us to focus on housing, which obviously is a key issue, but also guide those clients to get support around substance issues, immigration issues, access and employment. They help me by getting accommodation for me. They support me in uh, my universal credits and they continue helping me for my tenancy agreements. It is a challenge. There's a lot of external agencies that we have to work with in order to help these individuals get in the right kind of situation to secure their property. I was getting phone calls every day from ships asking me how things were, had I ended up finding a place of my own, and they were very supportive. But he's a lot of pressure on me. David was actually in emergency accommodation while we was working with him and he was getting to a point where he had to leave that emergency accommodation. He was assessed in January 2019 and then placed into a one-bedroom property in March, early March 2019. We had to fast track a discretionary housing payment so we could get the rent in advance and deposit covered. The property is really great. It's all self-contained, well decorated, not just a property, it was a home. We wanted to have an outcomes-based approach because it's such good value for money and it has that additional flexibility. And it's very hard for a local authority to specify precisely what intervention each person needs. The nature of an outcomes contract is that the delivery team can adapt their approach to each individual and this flexibility is what enables them to be so successful. We're all learning. We're learning what kind of things we will come across in the future, what kind of things we're not prepared for, and we're learning how to deal with those things better. And I think it does benefit the crowd. Using an outcomes-based approach has proved really effective in this contract. It's taught us a lot about how to deliver a service which really is responsive. I think working in this way is something we would absolutely look at for the future. There are almost 400 people out there who have been helped in a way that if we did not have this contract and it was not managed and, and delivered in the way that it is, we simply wouldn't have been able to help. It's nice to see somebody who was in a dangerous situation or a vulnerable situation and you manage to get them out of there and, and, and they come back with a smile on their face and they're very happy. It's a, it's a beautiful feeling.